Hello everyone, Mathrow here. Welcome to the weekly update video for RuneScape RS3. This week we have Raksha, who is a brand new solo or duo boss. Um, <clears throat> however, keep in mind this boss is between the difficulty levels of Raxor and Telos, so do keep that in mind. I know a lot of people do Telos. I don't know how hard Telos is. I've never even tried it. Uh, but, uh, to speak, uh, how to start, you gotta speak to Lanakia, uh, in the ruins of the southeast to set up, uh, set out on a mini quest that'll lead you to Raksha's lair. Uh, so the requirements are access to Anachronia, RuneScape membership, and it is recommended to have a combat level 120 and at least tier 80 gear. Now, Raksha does drop a few things. Uh, so, it drops tier 80 boots for all combat styles. It doesn't really say uh, how, you know, their stats, if it's power, or if it's defensive. We will wait and see. And I'll try to fight Raksha myself, actually, in a video uh, for tomorrow. <laughs> I'll have that out. Uh, but also, there is three ability codexes. You have Greater Chain. So Greater Chain is an upgrade for the chain ability. It'll hit the primary target and two secondary targets within a six square radius for 20 to 100% ability damage plus 50% of the next magic attack or oh, magic hit against the primary target within six seconds will also be dealt uh, to both the secondary uh, secondary targets. So be very wise to actually plan that attack around uh, using an ultimate that that's this is the kind of ability that you know you kind of want to do that uh, and it does also stack with the chroming perks so do keep that in mind you have greater ricochet which is just like above but with a little bit of a twist so the big twist is for each secondary target that the ability doesn't find your primary target will take an additional 10 to 50 percent ability damage so if you're taking on a solo boss raksha this ability would be very very nice uh, i don't know if you know range would be really good against them i don't know yet but there is that and now there is also Divert, which is a brand new ability that requires 48 defense and equip shield to use. So this is a defensive ability. Uh, when active, the next attack dealt to you within 6 seconds will convert the damage you would have taken to adrenaline. Uh, letting you wind up for your next move much faster. Uh, it does have a 30 second cooldown and that is shared with Resonance. So, that is pretty interesting. Now on to the RuneScape merch. So, there's a few things. There's also a brand new Christmas uh, cards and a Dragon Mail t-shirt. So do check that out. Uh, and as before, if you spend 30 pounds or $50, you get a free mystery key ring. Spend 80 to $100, well, 80 pounds to $100 uh, and get free shipping. So do check that out. And the free mystery key ring, uh, if you can see there, there's just a whole bunch of different ones so that you just get a free key ring basically. Which, all those key rings actually look kind of cool if you ask me. Don't forget to check out your Prime Gaming you have up until December 15th, so do check it out. Do link your account to get 7 days of free membership. Community this week is Tuesday, December 8th at 1700 game time. Uh, Leads Q and A Wednesday, December 9th at 1700 Game Time. Raksha Boss and Christmas Preview. So there's going to be a Christmas event. We have some Steam screenshots of one of the dinosaurs. I forget which type this is. I do apologize, uh, but, but it's by Mr. Ziggy. Uh, we have another one of the hot air balloon by Thana Bloodwell, and then actually a really cool one. Uh, from I think this is the God Wars uh, World Event 1 with the God Wars uh, between Zamrock and Saradomen with the Black Knights by Les Yux plus Gross 
Kelamond. <laughs> Not sure what that means, sorry. And then you have this nice little moody pick from Legend Arts entitled Fremenic. So, that is actually pretty cool. And sadly, this picture did not load, and that is by Galassiite. <clears throat> so, don't forget Pink Skirts event, but this time Pink Skirts has a 12 Days of Christmas going on, so do keep that in mind. Uh, to join in on the fun, uh, it will be this Saturday, December 12th, from 2100 to 22 game time on World 66 at the Barbarian Assault Lobby. So do check that out if you are interested in that. Otherwise, we have patch notes. So improvements are the instructions given in the Lord of Vampirium quest journal upon retrieving the pendant of the Icing Graveyard. Excuse me, have been clarified. Fixes. Sarah no longer vanishes after entering the cave during the Firemaker's Curse. The fade-out transition that plays while viewing Zania's memory during Nomad's Elegy no longer loops infinitely after pressing continue. The music track on Wings of Air will no longer be erroneously unlocked when completing an agility course during Stolen Hearts. Other improvements are the Halloween event icon has been removed from the world map, uh, Menophyte gift rewards from Pyramid Plunder are now stackable. Fixes, the deed for the largest dinosaur pen now has the correct description in the farmer's market. The advent calendar will no longer appear during the tutorial. The advent calendar banner in Treasure Hunter now correctly links to the advent calendar interface. The tireless blood essence can no longer be used to gain extra adrenaline while an adrenaline potion cooldown is active. Premier uh, Club outfit is now correctly recolored after being reapplied. The Armor of Trials message is displayed when dying to the word on the Paterdamas Bridge during River Blood has been corrected. The timer will now show the correct time remaining when crafting multiple headless arrows while dungeoneering. Fix the bug where only 10 bolos could be fletched at a time, one at one at a time instead of 60. Mix no longer ask you to participate for millerization after completing it. Uh, fix a bug where certain items couldn't be used in some areas of Liberation of Mass Cap. Removed an incorrect voice line used in the dialogue with Borek during Borek's Task 3. The augmented crystal hatchet sheath straps have been removed to keep it in line with the other hatchet models. Infinity set items excluding tops will now require at least 55 defense and 50 magic to equip. Having the headbutt mining animation equipped will no longer increase the time required to mine rock debris in dungeoneering skill rooms. Players may no longer attempt to start the lock sagas via saga UI. Hotfixes, players can no longer kill death. Nice try! Alrighty, but that is actually it for today's update. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in tomorrow to see my first attempts on Raksha. So until next time, later guys.